And meanwhile, while the Democrats are fussing around with this shrinking Build Back Better bill, they've done nothing about voting rights and election protection. So the ruthless and racist GOP is out there gerrymandering so their minority vote will be majorities of the House and state legislatures. And they're also, the, the Republicans, are taking over election administration in order to be in a position to basically steal elections they lose. And, you know, they're putting their people in secretaries of state, uh, election uh, boards, they are, uh, and their supporters are violently threatening and intimidating election administrators, particularly those that won't go along with the GOP program. And the feckless Democrats haven't responded. It's, it's of course, it's a filibuster. And right now, Schumer's saying we got to get Build Back Better passed before we can deal with that. And it stands in the way of ending partisan gerrymandering, strengthening the Voting Rights Act so you can end racial gerrymandering. And the political gerrymandering is basically a cover for racial gerrymandering as well. We can really see that in Texas. The, the new map, uh, Latinos are 40% of the state, but they're a majority in only 20% of the House districts. African Americans are 20% uh, of the population, they're a majority in only 10% of the districts, and Asian Americans are 6% and they have no Asian majority districts. Of course, we'd like to see proportional representation, so every political viewpoint and ethnic group that coalesces around a political viewpoint can get their fair share of representation. And proportional representation would do away with even the possibility of gerrymandering, because then it doesn't matter how you draw the district lines, you have multi-member districts, and every political viewpoint, every ethnic group can get its fair share of representation. But of course, Biden, Manchin, Cinema, and other Democratic senators who are quietly in the background haven't fought, won't fight to carve out at least a, uh, the filibuster so they can vote on these voting rights and election protection bills. And uh, they can do it easily. I mean, they just all 50 Democrats and Vice President Harris. They can vote to change the rules. But, you know, bad news this week on Thursday, uh, Senator Cinema from Arizona was interviewed by the Washington Post. And she said she's not going to support a voting rights carve out of the filibuster. And she said the way the Washington Post paraphrased, paraphrased her, she said it's still an insufficient reason to do away with the practice, the filibuster. In other words, she don't care about voting rights. And it doesn't seem like too much of the Democratic leadership does, which ironically, I mean, even if they don't care about, you know, suppressing the vote and racism and all that, you think they'd want to keep power. But they seem to be willing to just surrender to the Republicans, give up the House, give up state legislatures to political and racial gerrymandering and even election theft without a real fight. Uh, it's kind of baffling. I mean, my best theory is that most of the Democrats are in safe districts, so they don't care.